Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ataleo. Eh, habandiriki. Kwa hiyo madhenge God bless you. Pazaza karibu sana. Peps peps Mungu akubariki sana Pastor Regina. Share share share. Thank you for them that have shared. Kuna watu wame share we have now. It has been shared that two times. Kama wakila mtu wanaeza share kwa group kumi. Tunaeza kuwa na, na, na good, 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 good number here. So God bless you so much. Nitia watu wawiri watatu. Nitia watu wawiri watatu. Nitia posto Ken Koi, nitia posto Ken, Mrs. Ken Ken, nitia Frida, I can see Pastor Moses and the wife, Kariboni sana. Uh, anana Taleo. Yes, Frida Paul, I had the testimony, glory to God. I told you God is God is working. We serve a living God. We serve a mighty God. God bless you so much. Cheza kama wewe Frida. Glory ameniambia ati ameenda kesha. Akuje class kwanza. Hallelujah. We are good number. Ten is a good number. We thank God for you. Thank you for coming. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. We bless you. We give you glory. We give you honor. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your masses. Thank you because you are faithful and you change us not. Jina lako ni tukuzwe kwa sababu we ni buwana. Katika jina raeso kristo tumeomba na tumeamini. Mutu asema amen. Sauti kwa aje. Sauti komzuri. I want to talk about kingdom. Uh, uh, Nigeta kuwaporojaiz. Nimeona nianzie topic ya redemption from Monday. Dio tuifuatanishe kwa sababu ni kubwa. Dio tuifuatanishe kama wiki mzima. About redemption, forgiveness of sin, atonement, the Passover, all those feats. Dio tuwentuona vizuri vegetakua. So, uh, I thank God. Uh, glory to God. So uh, I want you to, I want us today to look at something that I'm calling Kingdom Covenant of Divine Wealth. Kingdom Covenant of Divine Wealth or Divine Prosperity. Kingdom Covenant of Divine Wealth or Divine Prosperity. And Ningataka uh, Ujua Kwamba, God is willing. God is willing for you to prosper. God is willing for you to prosper. Mungu anataka utajirike. Puvate is not from God. I want you to understand puvate is a demon. Puvate is not from God and puvate is a demon. So if you are poor, know that automatically you have a demon that is called puvate. Puvate is not the will of God, poverty is a demon. Poverty is a spirit. It is a spirit. Poverty is a result of a curse. Poverty is a result of a curse. Struggles are not from God. Struggles are not from God. So it is not the will of God for you to struggle. It is not the will of God. For you to uh, to see your see your mapenzi ya mungu, kwa kwa wewe 
kukosa kile ambacho unahitaji sio mapenzi ya Mungu kwako wewe kukosa uh, zile vitu ambazo unahitaji katika maisha Mungu anataka ukue nazo na ukue na mingi zaidi Mungu anataka ukue nazo na ukue na utere God does not want you to be rich He wants you to be very rich God does not want just to prosper you He want to make you very prosperous God does not want you just to make wealth He want you to be very wealthy So according to the will of God you are not supposed to be poor You are not supposed to be poor In fact one of the covenants that we were given on the cross was divine prosperity Jesus though he was rich he was made poor so that we can be rich he was made poor so that we can be rich and after this no one of you will be poor again in the name of Jesus i say after this no one will be poor in the name of Jesus Christ i refuse to be poor Say it from the bottom of the, your heart. I refuse to be poor. Because poverty is not your portion. Poverty is not your portion. Every kingdom, the weight of every kingdom is determined by the level of wealth the nation it carries. By the wealth. By the wealth, number two, by the army by the strength of the army by the strength of the army so that is why china is becoming because it has so many armies it is it has a lot of wealth it is becoming almost the richest i want you to understand that number three, i want you to understand that there is there are rules that are governing uh wealth and a kingdom kingdom wealth prosperity there are seven laws that governs kingdom wealth prosperity i want you to understand that i was also on you to understand that prayer is not in the equation of prosperity prayer is not in the equation of prosperity number next fasting is not in the equation of prosperity fasting you cannot fast your way to prosperity you cannot pray your way to prosperity you cannot borrow your way to prosperity you cannot borrow your way to prosperity in fact let me let me put that statement a uh, very clear here uh no one you can live like this no one can pray his way to prosperity no one can fast his way to prosperity to riches no one can beg his way to abundance you can only give you away out the secret of wealth is one knowledge knowledge number two, the secret of wealth number one is knowledge two, wisdom three, fear of god fear of god number four, giving those are the secrets of making wealth in the kingdom Hallelujah. Up to there tuko pamoja. Up to there tuko pamoja. I want now to articulate the seven laws of prosperity. I want now to articulate the seven laws of prosperity, but it is the desire. I want you to understand it is the desire of God that you have more and have it more abundantly Ephesians 3 verses 19 Ephesians 3 verses 19 to 21 God want you to have not only enough he want you to have abundant God want to have 
abundant. Our God is God of abundance. Our God is God of abundance. Hallelujah. Uh, Ephesians 3 verses 19, the Bible says, To know the love of Christ, which passes knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. So I have just told you the first thing is the knowledge. You have that, that gnosko. Once you have the mind knowledge of how things go, go work and uh, the knowledge of the word of God and the knowledge of who God is. Next verse. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly. When you have the knowledge of this, of the one who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we may ask or think according to the power that work, that power, this is power, is this power is dunamis that worketh in us. Next verse to him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. So, God wants you to have abundance of it, God wants you to have. Abundance. God has good plans for you. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 29, verses 11. I know the plans that I have for you. I know the plans that I have for you. God has good plans. Hallelujah. I also want you to understand, God isn't opposed to, our, to us being rich. God has no problem with us being rich. Hallelujah. In fact, he delights in the prosperity of the saints. God delights in the prosperity of the saints. Psalms 35 verses 27. God delights or God is happy when his people are prospering. When his people, your poverty does not glorify God. Your poverty does not glorify God. Your poverty does not glorify God. May those who delight in my vindication shout for joy and gladness. May they always say, the Lord be exalted, who delight in the well-being of his servants. King James Version, the Message Bible, who delights in the well-being. God is delighted in the well-being, well-being, well-being. God is delighted. Uh, but those who want the best for me, let them have the last word, a grand shout, and say, over and over and over, God is great. Everything works together for good, for his servant. Hallelujah. God wants you to prosper. God wants you to be rich. God wants you to have more abundantly. God wants you to have beyond your expectation. Hallelujah. It is God who maketh man rich. I also want you to understand before I come to the principles. Poverty is not purity. Poverty is not purity. Just because you are poor does not mean that you are pure. You know sometimes we mistake even men of God. Because about man of God, hand and pack to that is a true man of God. You don't define a true man of God by the, by the shoe, by the coat that he's dressing. It is by the oil that he's carrying. Hallelujah. In fact, a poor pastor still have that demon because I have just, just told you poverty is a demon. A poor pastor has a demon of poverty. Okay. Buona sesana. First law that you should understand about the seven laws of the kingdom wealth and prosperity. I want you to understand prosperity is more than finance. Prosperity is more than finance. The term prosperity does not speak of money. Prosperity is all allowed. It, is, it talks about the spiritual, physical, social, and psychological being. It talks about spiritual, physical, social, and psychological well-being. That John 1 verses 2. 
that John 1 verses 2. God wants you to prosper in all areas. God wants you to prosper in all areas. Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things, not in some things. Usikuwe na pesa migi, alafu kuwe na kansa. Apana. Usikuwe na pesa migi, alafu ukuwe au na akiri. Tena hiyo ni baya. Usikuwe na pesa migi, alafu you are not spiritual. Tena hiyo ni baya. Hijab balance, that is not prosperity. Hallelujah. Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health. Health is part of prosperity. Good health is prosperity. Just as your soul, even your soul, in a man should prosper. You are rich in the word of God. You are rich in the things of God. First Thessalonians 5 verses 23. Even your soul should prosper. Even your soul should prosper. You are supposed to be prosper, to prosper in every area. Hallelujah. Na nikataka ujue ya kwamba, unaweza kuwa na gali na ukuna magojwa. Iyo tabia kusemanga, ah watu wanatabia na iyo magali kubwa, wamejaza madawa kwa, mfuko, kwa mfuko. Mimi ni kwa nagali kubwa na sina madawa kwa mfuko. So it is possible kuwa na gali kubwa na usikuwe na magojwa. Ha ha. Now may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely and may your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved brameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. So it is, a, it is about your whole being, your whole spirit, your whole soul, and your body. It is about your spirit, your physical being, your social being, and your psychological being, you are supposed to prosper every every area. Unajua kuna matu wakubaro kona pesa hawa na akiri. That is not prosperity. Buwana sifiwe. That is, your life also is part of prosperity. You can't be rich and dead. It is, it is not possible. You are very rich but you are dead. You are alive, having life, and having it more abundantly is also uh, good. Spiritual prosperity, uh, I can start with there and I say, to prosper sp spiritually, you must first be born again. You must first be born again. So accept Jesus as your personal savior. Hallelujah. That is about the spiritual prosperity. Prosperity. About the physical, you give your body as a living sacrifice. You give your body as a living sacrifice. Hallelujah. Physical prosperity. Let me let me just touch about uh, uh, psychological uh, psychological pros, pros, prosperity. I, I can touch and say this: the wild things of mental prosperity is simply knowing it all. Oh, but God had something much better in mind. Mental prosperity includes liberation of knowledge. Mental prosperity includes liberation of knowledge. Mental ability beyond our own. And a sharp mind. A sharp mind. Usikuwe mutu. Kama ukona pesa migi. Lakini maidi yako we ni sirurana, we ni ngombe tu ya kawaida. Kuna mahali nao, mental prosperity hauja ya kwaya. Mental prosperity. Hallelujah. You have the revelation, mental ability beyond your own, and sharp mind until the day we go to heaven. It means casting down imaginations and being in control of your own Thoughts. You cast down all imaginations. 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 Next. Next is the relationship. That is social prosperity. Only God can truly prosper you in the area of relationship. He is the giver of good and perfect gifts. The Bible says in the book of James 1 verse 17, every good and perfect gift comes from Apostle Moravi. 
comes from heaven. He can bring reconciliation where the world would all say that the hope is lost. Hallelujah. This includes good marriage. Relationship one is good marriage. Uneza kuwa na pesa sana, lakini ukuwe na bibi subua sana. Uneza kuwa na pesa sana, lakini ukuwe na mze subua. Mse kisirani. Sana, sana, sana. Hallelujah. Meka, anaka kama ametoka kayole. Heal the family. Peaceful sons or peaceful children. And good relationships is also a prosperity. By the way, men, men are prosperity. Badala kuwa mungu kupe pesa mingi, abia mungu kupe watu, abao wame kukaribia, ambao they can start with you, because men are carriers of the grace. Men are carriers of prosperity. Who is surrounding you? Who is surrounding you? There is another level, level of prosperity that we call accomplishment prosperity. Accomplishment prosperity. This is about the favor of God. When you have favor, doors just opens. Kuna watu, kuna watu wegine kaa mimi. Wako na kibari tu, wanapatanga pesa. Tumilago inafunguka. Ku, 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 ku. Inafunguka tu, unapata pesa. Hallelujah. I'm sorry to tell you that I am a victim. I am a victim of that. Hata sahi, najua nikihubiri, utaguzu watu unitumie giri kumi. Niki, niki, nikibari siku peda kwa gu, nikibari tu, ni, ni, nikibari tu ili nipata tu hivo. Watu natakaga tu kunitumia pesa. Hallelujah. Esa kia hako hapo, Tume, tumeenda accomplishment prosperity. Aha. Financial now prosperity. Let me go come to financial prosperity. Financial prosperity. You can write this. If a man came to you needing clothes and you did not have, we might provide, uh -huh, and did not have any clothes to give, both of you would be in trouble. We are to prosper so that we might provide abundantly for our own families, bless those around us, and uh, fad the work of the kingdom of God and in this earth. These are the basic fundamentals that run through the, out the, the entire Bible. Tutaziguza hapa, tukisoma now these rows, uh, all, all these rows that we have. In Jesus' mighty name. So, to mesama the first one, prosperity is more than finances. That is number one. To kasema yo maboyoto to mesema. Number two, tithing, like this, tithing is tied to prosperity. Tithing is tied to prosperity. Tithing is tied to prosperity. Remember, it is when Abraham met Melchizedek, and after he tithed to him, his life changed and changed forever. His life changed and changed forever. And after that, you enjoy the, all the blessings that are in the Deuteronomy chapter 28. I don't want to talk much about tithing, but if you are Christian and you don't tithe, don't expect any day to prosper. Let me tell you this. Abraham tithed to Levi. Your tithe will not only affect you. It affects your children's children. Your tithe will affect your children's children. Aya, number three. Debt freedom is key to prosperity. Uneza adika debt, uneza sema hasola fad, uneza adika furiza, uneza adika yo igine ukonayo, useme hasola's freedom is key to, to prosperity. Debt freedom is key to prosperity. You cannot prosper if you have debts. Proverbs 22, verses 7. Proverbs 22, verses 7. There is another verse that Richard gave us in, in the church. Uh, 
Are we in the book? The rich rules over the poor, and the borrower is a servant to the leader. Message Bible version is going to be very sana. Pa la 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 la. The poor are always ruled by the children, the rich. So, so don't borrow and put yourself under the poor power. Don't borrow and put yourself in trouble. What about amplified? I love reading all the Bibles. Mimi napenda kusoma Bibiria. Kama upedi kusoma Bibiria, mimi napenda. The rich is over the poor. And the borrower is a servant to the lender. A borrower is a servant to the lender. So if you have a akadeni, wewe ni servant. You are not, you are a servant. Na nime kutangazia Nime kutangazia siku ya leo. Mroho ya madeni kuodokea in the name of Jesus. Watu wengine ukita kujua roho ya madeni na kusubua. Unakopanga mpaka ukiwa na pesa kwa mfuko. Unaeza furiza. Na ukiwa na pesa kwa mfuko. Aja kuniagalia vibaya. Na hata hii ni ni. Hizi data badus ulikopa. Na ulikuwa na pesa kwa mpesa. Na ukakopa 220 bob. Diweke ni ni. Badus. Hiyo ni roho uko nayo. Isidwe mfululizo. Roho ya madeni, I cancel it in the name of Jesus. Dilimabia juzi mimi sikopangi na sikopeshagi watu pesa. Kama nataka kupea mtu pesa na mpea. Lakini roho ya madeni, mimi si mtu wa madeni. I am not Baba Dennis. Every spirit of borrowing. Out in the name of Jesus. Out in the name of Jesus. You are not a borrower. You relate to many nations. Can I give you a secret? Sometimes, siri ya utajiri. Sometimes, kopesha watu pesa, haba unajua hawana guvu ya kukulipa, lakini swai wabia uliwapea. Kopesha watu pesa, haba unajua ata wakifanya nini, hawana uwezo wa kukulipa. Na usiwai taka wakulipe, lakini usiwai wabia ni kuwape uliwapea. I have given you a secret. Okay. Can we continue? Don't owe anybody anything. Romans 13 verses 8. Usikue wewe die mutu ambaye unajifichaga usionwe na kama uko na deni ya wenyewe wewe kama uko na deni wewe hebu lipa hiyo deni wewe lipa hiyo madeni naona hata yeduka upitiage hapo unapitia ngapa day ingine kwa sababu ya madeni kama wewe ni uko na madeni wewe ni mama Dennis kama wewe ni uko na madeni wewe ni baba Dennis mama na baba Dennis hamjabo kwa sababu ya madeni haleluya don't learn up debts except for the huge debt of wrath. Usikuwe na madeni, apart from hile deni ambao unafaa kuwa na yo, ni deni ya mapenzi. Mapenzi unafaa kudeni yana. When you love each other, you complete what the row has been after or wrong. Don't learn up debts. Usikuwe mtu wa madeni, wacha kufanya, wacha saidoko. Wacha yo mambo ya ya madeni. Usikuwe mtu wa madeni. Next. Next. Another key. Pay the government taxes without gabbering. Pay the government taxes without gabbering. Versus musiwe na mtu chochote isipo kuwa kupendana. Aleluya. Nichia meleta mabaya kupendana sasa. Meleta verse 7. Verse seven. Wapeni wote hakizao, mutu wa kodi, kodi, mutu wa ushuru, ushuru, astahirie hofu, hofu, astahirie heshima, heshima. Wapeni wote hakizao. It is good to pay taxes. It is good to pay taxes. 
Not only taxes, it is also good to pay vows. Pay taxes and vows. Na kama kuna kitu kimefunga watu wengi hapa, ni vows. Kwa sababu ulisema pasi, mimi niki, mimi nikipata hiyo job, nitakuja na 10,000, nita, nimi nitanua kitu frani, na ukainua miko mkono, kanisa kuna nilua kitu frani, na ukainua mkono, lakini ukatoka kwa hiyo chachu huja wei nunua, uko na deni, ripa deni, ripa deni. Pay your vows. Don't make vows if you not pay. If you don't pay, they will follow you. Bwana sifiwe. Si ulisema ati ukitoka Kenya ati utafanya, uta, uta, kwa hile chachi unakubuka venye ulisema. Paka sahi ata huyo pasta umchukuli yagi simu. Uta ujina bayake. Uko na deni. Uko na deni. Mama Dennis. Mama Dennis. Hallelujah. Number six, you must choose God's system to prosper. You must choose God's system to prosper. Romans 12 verses 2. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be ye transformed by the renewal of your mind. Uh, 1 Corinthians 2 verses 14. 1 Corinthians 2 verses 14. 1 Corinthians 2. 14 are we there do not become so well adjust to your culture that you fit into the to to eat without even thinking instead fix your attention on god you will be changed from the inside out readily recognize i love that uh what what he wants from you and quickly respond to it unlike unlike the culture around you Always dragging you down to the level of immaturity. More than it. God brings the best out of you. Develop well-formed maturity in you. Hallelujah. Bwana asifiwe sana. Are we there? First Corinthians 2.14. Oh, do you talk evil? Oh, the unspiritual self just as it is, it's, it, it is by nature, can receive the gifts of God, God's spirit. There is no capacity for them. They seem like so much seriness. Spirit can be known only by spirit. God's spirit and our spirit in open communion. I want you to understand uh, that, can you put NIV, uh, or NLT that is, um, I, I want you to understand the man without the spiritual, but people who aren't spiritual can't receive this truth from God's spirit. It all sounds foolishness to them, and they can't understand it. For only those who are spiritual can understand what the spiritual means. Only the spiritual people who can understand the spiritual Things, the things of the spirit can only be gotten by the people who are not carnally minded. People who are, are who thinks according to the mind of God. The Bible says we have the mind of Christ. You need to stop thinking the way you think and start now uh, 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 thinking like Christ. Number seven, you will have what you say. You will always have what you say i think i, I have i've talked much about the power of the of speaking but mark 11 verses 23 uh, inasema kwamba chochote ambacho una unaomba ukiamini ule mwenye atambia mlima uende utaenda lala i tell you the truth you can say to this mountain may you be lifted up and thrown into sea and it will happen but you must really believe it will happen and have no doubt in your heart. I think Job 28, 22 says, And you shall declare a thing and shall be established. The power is in your mouth. It is for you to decide from your heart. The power is in your mouth. Your mouth is has the power. Your mouth has the power. Your wealth is in your mouth. Kire unanena, kire unaongea. Kina wewe ukisema woi sisi ni maskini woi mimi siwezi tajirika woi mimi siwezi woi mimi siwezi woi mimi siwezi you will never become you will never become 
Hallelujah. You never grow beyond your revelation. You never grow beyond your revelation. So the revelation that you have about God, speak it. Keep speaking it. Whatever you speak, say, I am rich. Say, I am prospering. Si nilimwambia hii mwaka nanunua Range Rover na nanunua Prado. Nyi kaeni tu hapo V8. Mimi kaeni kaeni tu hapo. I am confessing something. I'm confessing. Confess I I will confess until it it manifest. So your neighbor confess until it manifests. Hallelujah. Are we together? Are we together? Listen to this. These are secrets behind becoming rich. Number one, giving is God's way of raising men. Giving is not God's way of raising money. It is God's way of raising men. I want you to understand, the first key is tithing. The second key is generous giving. For God loves a generous giver. Giving is in equation of prosperity. If prayer is in equation of prosperity, then all intercessors wakikuwa wanaedesha rejirovers. Lakini usa ifikiria kwa nini intercessors wakikuwa kwa maskini? Because prayer is not in equation of prosperity. Uneza kuwa ufasti kabisa kabisa ya diupate pesa. Utatoka huko na kukonda ata guo ziko kwasa kukutoshea kwa sababu ya stige. The problem, stige men do not prosper. The Bible says there is one who scatters, yet he increases and there is one who with the, with the holes yet he reduces unto poverty give and shall be given to you give and to give be given to you good measure taken together overflowing they will come to you hallelujah it is wisdom to save it is wisdom to save it is wisdom to save you know probably Six verses, uh, from verses 6 about, uh, about, about the insect and all those things. Hallelujah. In giving, you must know what you give and you must decide from your heart. Second Corinthians chapter 9 verses uh, 7 and verses 8 uh, up on his own about much to do with the giving. Much to do with the giving. You also declare that it shall be established, and it will be established for you. So, right will shine on your way. Hallelujah. That right, I will talk about it later. For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that through he was, thus he was rich, yet for your sake he became poor. Not he became poor, he was made. Just a correction, he was made poor. He never became poor. He was made poor. It was a manufacturing thing. That you, through his poverty, you might become. You must. Be, you might now be rich. You might now be rich. God wants you to have so many money. So many money. Very many money. God wants you to have very many money. Very many money. Hallelujah. One of the things that God wants you to have is... To have the wealth so that you can support the ministry and the works of God and all other things. Hallelujah. Aha. Uh -huh. Ecclesiastics 11 verses 1 and 2. Ecclesiastics 11. It is good to invest. Uh, it is good to... These things you are supposed to do. One, you should know... There is secret in giving. Number two, there is uh, wisdom in saving. Number three, it is good to invest. It is good to invest. Cast your bread upon the waters, for you will find it after many days. Sometimes we, we put our money in uh, things that do not help, in things that cannot bring profit. But it is wisdom to know and inquire from the Lord. The Bible says in the book of uh, 
in the book of Isaiah chapter 48 verse 17 that it is the Lord who gives us the power to make profit. So it is God who leads you in where that you make profit. So before you cast your bread to many waters, know where the waters are flowing. The waters may be flowing in Indian Ocean where there is salt and salt is 10 bob. You will not get anything. Are you getting me? Cast your bread into many waters. Know where you are investing. Don't invest in Desi and good luck. With a poterea, invest in places where you can get money back. Look for businesses that can help you. Look for things that can help you. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Cast your bread upon the waters, for you will find it after many days. Next verse. And I would like a message Bible. Give a, serv a serving to seven and also to eight. For you do not know what evil will be on the earth. Satana mm Shidwe. -hmm. Verse one. Be generous. Invest in act of charity. Charity yields high returns. Next verse. Do, don't hide your goods. Yani inakwabia usue mkono gumu. Spread them around. Be a blessing to others. This could be your last night. Hallelujah. Be a blessing to others. Maybe this is your last night to be poor. Tomorrow be rich. This is your last night to be struggling. This could be your last night to be struggling. Tomorrow you are rich. Am I speaking to somebody? Am I speaking to somebody? Hallelujah. Uh, Tumefikawapi. Financial prosperity is God's will for you. Financial prosperity is God's will for you. Financial prosperity is God's will for you. Second Corinthians chapter uh, 8 verses 9. You have to also to understand you are, you are blessed to become a blessing to others. Mm -hmm. You are familiar with the generosity of our master, Jesus Christ. Rich as he was, he gave it all away for us. In one stroke, he became poor and uh, uh, he became poor for us to become rich. I think we have we had looked at that verse on another dimension. Uh -huh. You are blessed to become a blessing to others. You are blessings. You are blessed to become a blessing to others. Second Corinthians nine verses eight and nine. He gives the seed to the sower. You becomes you 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 are blessing you are blessed to become a blessing to others, and God is able to make all grace abound towards you, that you always having all sufficiency in all things may abound in every good work. Next verse, have we submitted to some a message? Uh -huh. As it is written, He has dispersed abroad; He has given to the poor. His righteousness remains. Forever. Can you put those two verses in? Uh, uh, huh. As one, God can pour on the blessings in astonishing ways so that you are ready for anything and everything more than just ready to do what needs to be done. Next, next verse. As one psalmist puts it, he throws caution to the weeds, giving to the needy in lackless and abandon. His right living, light giving way, never runs out, never wears out. Any person who gives right, any person who uh, releases, who becomes a blessing to others, always God releases a blessing. 
to him. I also want you to rely on, in, in, in wealth, I want you to rely on heaven's economy, not other economy. Rely always in heaven's economy. Rely always in heaven's economy. In the book of Philippians 4, verses 19, I know we know it very much. And my God, and my God, are we there? And my God, then you can be sure that God will take care of everything you need. Be sure that God will take care of everything. Yes, there is COVID. Yes, there is so many things. There is um, food uh, economy, everything, but you are, you are assured as a kingdom, as a kingdom son, as a kingdom general, you are assured that uh, God will take care of everything you need. His generosity exceeding even yours in the glory that pours from Jesus. May the Lord take care of everything that you need. May the Lord take care of your family. May the Lord take care of your business. May the Lord take care of everything that you have. Because God will take care. When you align yourself with the will of God, God will take care for everything. There is this woman of Sarah uh, When he, he served a man of God, God took care of him for the three and a half years. If God took care for that woman who was a widow, God will take care for you. God will take care for your children. God will take care for your family. There was a time in the book of Genesis, we can, we can put it, Genesis chapter uh, that 26 from verses 1. There was farming and uh, there was no food in any place because hakukuwa na chakura kwa sababu kulikuwa na jaa kubwa lakini mibili nasema nini? Uh, in the book of there was a farming in the rad beside the first farming that was in the days of Abraham and Isaac went to Abimelech king of the Philistines in the in Gera in the time that there was farming Isaac went up hallelujah Isaac went up to the king Isaac went to ask where he can he, he can he can he, he can he can do the farming hallelujah so Isaac went to Abimelech. Na alienda mahali pale, though kulikuwa na jaa na hakuwa kwa nchi yao. Isaac unakumbuka ni ule jamaa amebomolewa visima. There was a drought and there was farming. But farming he was not controlled by the chronos. He was not controlled hakuwa natebea na majira kama wewe. Wenye unasemanga kuomete. Wenye unasemanga ni kungangana. Isaac was not controlled by that. Verses 12. Put for, put for us verses 12. Verses 12. Verses 12. Verses 12. Verses 12. Verses 12. Then Isaac sowed in, the, in that lad and repeated and leaped in the same year a hundred folds, and the Lord blessed him. Isaac planted in that land. When there was famine, when there was nothing that was growing, that is the time that Isaac planted in the land, and he sowed, and he, he harvested a, a hundred folds. I declare, whatever you are doing, may you receive a harvest of a hundred folds in the name of Jesus. Um, don't look at the sun. Look at the God of the sun. Don't look at the rain. Look at the God of the rain. May the Lord of Abadans atakama biashara zigine zinanguka your business will start. Why? Because God is with you. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not in be in want. He leads me in green pastures. God will always lead you in a place where there is cool waters, where there is no confusion, where there is no gabbling, where there is cool water, where you can receive your blessings, where you can receive that favor, where you can receive that goodness. I declare to you today, as you walk in righteousness, as you walk with the knowledge of God, I declare to you from today, whatever you are doing with your hands, it will prosper in the name of Jesus. Rise up and go back to that business. It will work again. Rise up, oh man. Rise up, oh woman. Don't cast that business. By the way, you have already cast it. And some, kama kuna kaduka kadogo, anza kusema, nimeenda kwa supermarket.
supermarket kama uko na tuna kaduka kadogo anza kuita supermarket kama uko na kaduka kadogo anza kuita hardware anza kuita mall come on he is a man thinketh so is he and he shall declare that and he shall be established you don't have a reason at all to become poor it is not the will of god for you to become poor god want to prosper you in all areas god want to prosper you in every place of your life god want you to become the best you are the best of god i want you to understand that for the sake of you god will prosper you listen to what happened uh, he restores my soul he, he uh, uh, listen to what happened here next verse verse 13 then the man began to prosper and continued to pro and continued prospering and he became very prosperous message bible then the man became prosperous i declare you become prosper and you become very prosperous and you become very 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 prosper yani utatajirika watu waseme unaomba shetani kama shetani kwa ana pesa the man got richer and richer by the day until he was very well the amplified the man became richer and richer and richer i prophesy to you may you become richer and richer and richer and very rich one day you retire the million for those who don't tithe for you to tithe the million you need to have from 100 million hallelujah and the man became great and gained more and more until he became very well distinguished. Now, kisikia bibiri kisema mtu ni utajiri. Ujue uwe mtu alikuwa tajiri. If the Bible calls you rich, ujue you are rich. Si mchezo. This, this guy was not working by seasons. He was not working by chronos. He was working by in Kairos. I will, I will talk about Kairos moment. And I want you to understand those who know they are God. But the people who know they are God, they will be strong and do exploits. This man knows who God, who God is. He knows his God is able to feed him. He knows that God is able to prosper him. There are people who prospered very much during the time of Corona. Yet we have a resort and ukafuga biashara. Other men were making money. Other men were becoming rich. And I'm commanding you right now, whatever you lost, you are recovering it all in the name of Jesus. Whatever was lost during the time of during the time of COVID-19, you are recovering it all. The time David went away, Ziklag was burned, but there was still hope. God told him that he will recover all. And surely our promising and faithful God let's told everything. I command whatever was lost from your hands, the glory that you had, the finances that you had, the wealth that you had is coming back to you. Can I hear a big amen? It is coming back to you. You be a man of honor. You be a woman of honor. People who call you blessed of the Lord. People who say this man is walking in favor. This man is walking in grace. This man is a genuine man of God. I don't care what happened by then. But there is God in heaven. He is a changer of seasons. You have been in a season of not knowing. Now you are in a season of knowing. Start confessing what you know now. Start thinking as a man of God. Don't think in a in in a in a in a wild way. Anza ku change your ruga. Wacha ku own vitumbaya mbaya. Wacha kusema unangangana. Wacha kusema unaskuma. Wacha kusema tu ni kuskuma tu ni kujaribu jaribu. Mr. Jaribu jaribu. Mesa sukuma sukuma. You will never get rich by sukuma sukuma and jaribu jaribu and ngangana ngangana. Our God is not for sukuma sukuma. Our God is not for jaribu jaribu. Our God is not for kungangana too. Our God is God of abundance. He will give you more than what you have asked for. He will give you more than what you think. He is ready to bless you. It is you that you don't know that our God is faithful. He is a giver. He is a rewarder of them that seek him dead Gently. Are you seeking him? Are you finding him? Are you praying that he may come on your life? Are you deciding to your life to be changed? The time of I want you to become tired. Na hiyo kuajiriwa na kuteswa na kuambiwa hivi na hivi na hivi unaperekwa kama mifugo. Hiyo 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 nataka uondokee na sasa wewe uanze kujisimamisha na wacha nikwambie we serve a mighty God.
God. You are becoming a boss with many servants. You are becoming a hero. You are becoming a true genuine. You will be rich and very rich. In your generation, God will raise you. In your generation, God will make you as the best to raise others. Katika kila familia, kuna ure mtu wabaye mungu wanachagua, diyo ainue wegine. You are that person that God is lifting. You are that person that God is lifting. May you be lifted today in the name of Jesus. May you be blessed today in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of poverty, I come cancel it in your life. Um, I cancel it in your life. Um, every spirit of death, I cancel it in the name of Jesus. Um, you can never be a borrower again. Um, you can never be a beggar again. Um, roho ya furiza. Roho ya madeni ya bank. Um, roho ya madeni kwa watu ni meyondoa in the name of Jesus. Um, na kama kuna watu ulipati ya pesa, maybe watu wenu wakueke. Maybe watu uliko pesa. Wakakosa kukulipa. I command them now. This month, let them give back your money. Wacha wakurudishie pesa. I I disturb the yariams. Na wawekea mastaka kwa anga yao. Hawata pata amani, mpaka wakurete pesa yako. Hawata pata amani, mpaka wakurejeshe mali yako. Yeyote ambaya liyeda na pesa yako, he is bringing it back. This month, you will be restored. This month, you will grow in faith. This month, you will grow in health. This month you will grow in the word of God. Your spirit will grow. You will be a mature man, mature woman in the spirit. You will not be a dwarf again. You cannot walk with Jesus and remain the same. Everywhere Jesus went, he did good. You are not exceptional. Jesus is with you tonight. He gonna do you good. He gonna do you favor. Above all things, he will make you prosper in all things. Areas. God bless you so much. May the Lord get, get, may the Lord bless you and give you peace and make His face shine upon you. You can never be poor. Say, my, I am rich in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Glory, glory to God. Glory, glory, glory to God. Buana sesana. Bwana aswe sana. I want just to recognize those who, who are, we were together. Those who have learned something tonight. Those who have refused to be poor again. Your life shall never be the same again. Esther Kia, you never, your life will never be the same again. Must say, your life shall never be the same again. Pastor Regina, your life has shifted. Uh, Pastor Zach, you are lifted in the name of Jesus. I declare uh, Frida wa Jesu. Oh! Ebutu bigia ni Frida wa Jesu makofi. She's here. <laughs> Nimekua nikikauliza. Kali ya daga habi ya katoto kangu. Apewa namba yangu wa nipigie kesho. Hallelujah. I've been missing you. Saatu mebakisha tu mtu mwaja alipote anga na hitu wa Faith Mwangi. Mere bogwa, you are breast. You can never be poor in the name of Jesus. Koi madenge, you be rich, you serve kings in the name of Jesus. Rapo shalama handa. Mwedharia and your wife, njini mutatajirika, mutakuwa mabisho buwakubwa sana. In the name of Jesus Christ. Aha, just to mention them, them that are meeting, when you na patana na wawa wapa, I just want to speak. I, Esther Kia, you be very breast, very, very breast. In fact, Esther Kia, you are going to be married by a very rich guy. Very rich guy. Na ata kupeda, ata kupea kila kitu. Hallelujah. Kama wea si, si rich, I'm not talking about you, about a marriage, Esther Kia. I'm talking about a rich guy. In the name of Jesus Christ. And also you'll be very rich in Jesus' mighty name. Mako zala pata, paru zata mahanda, prozika ramahanda rabazaya, paru zata mahanda robozaya. I feel to pray for you. And I declare to your life today, your life has changed forever in Jesus' name. No more shame. No more shame. Aibu ya madeni. Imeisha leo katika jina raiso kristo. I know you are trusting God for school fees. I know you are trusting God for house rent. I know you are trusting God to start that business. Pastor, you have been talking about that at businesses. How will I do it? I declare from today, the Lord will give you a revelation of a certain business. Even if you start with a thousand, even if you start with two thousand, the Lord will prosper you in the name of Jesus. You will not go down. 
In the name of Jesus. Favor is your portion. Your ministry will grow. You will grow in every area. You are trusting God for a husband. I declare this year there will be a sign in the name of Jesus Christ. There will be a sign in the name of Jesus Christ. You will not be married by a mediocre May the Lord give you the right man in Jesus' name. May the Lord give you the right woman in the name of Jesus Christ. May the Lord give you the right business. It shall be well in the name of Jesus. Ukienda uko ata 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 nini ata dhangari haimei ni mahali kubaya ni mahali hata ukizika mtu maua inakauka kuna kitu Mungu akupe kibari Bwana sio sana si Mungu akukutanisha na huyo mtu ambaye unatarajia katika jina la Yesu sema i am blessed and i'm favored in Jesus name we meet on Monday. We start our topic. We meet on Monday. Our topic is redemption and the power of redemption. God bless you so much. Uh, if you want to give your tithe, uh, you, you are offering your tithe, your everything. Uh, our numbers will be placed there. Number yagu itakuwekwa hapo, wale wananipigia, lakini Frida Wajeso will be given the first priority. Uh, amepotea sana, tumekami sana, ni kasiana ketu, and we bless the Lord. Tasa watu wote wa sukumane, watafute faithi mwagi mahali yako, aretwe, uh, na akalishwe chini. Buwana siyo sana. Ino siju kama ametoka, amekua mahali bari kidogo. Alex Golua, God bless you so much. Thank you for watching. Uh, any other visitor, karibu sana Huku diyo tunakuwaga Atukuwagi na mambo mingi Atukuwagi na kurukaruka na kwedo na gadhuwa dhuwa We just preach Christ Oh, Mase, God bless you so much hey, Mase anafaa kutuma nyama this week Mase is a giver, is a dangerous giver Hallelujah uh, All of you, may the Lord bless you Wenye wote mwekua hapa Mungu awabariki na musiwai kosa in Jesus' name. My own now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the sweet, sweet, sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Shalom. I love you guys. Live long. Let us meet at the top.